Okay, the next few assignments that you have to read. This always happens. For some reason, when I turn the video camera on, a box pops up and blocks where I can see if I'm in the frame or not. So I thought I was getting better at this videoing thing, guys, but I just don't know. <sighs> okay. Um, the next few things that we're going to read are stories more than what you've been reading. They are stories that in some way reference or illustrate some of the theories we've been talking about. So we've sort of laid this foundation over the last few weeks of ideas and now we're going to apply some of them, explore some of them. Now we're going to start this sort of story, these story readings with the, um, the ones who walk away from Amelia's. The ones who walk away. Now let me give you sort of a little bit of introductory material to what you read in your book. Kind of set the scene so to speak. So we live in this community and the powers that be, the people who control the universe of our community, come down and they say, if you will make a sacrifice to us, in return, we will ensure your community's health, happiness, welfare, prosperity. Everything will be great. Now, they're very specific about the sacrifice. The sacrifice has to be See, how do I want to put this? You have to sacrifice a child. You have to put them in these horrendous conditions, and they describe part of that in what you have to read. You have to place a child. It has to be a child because it can't be somebody who's old enough to make a choice to do this. It has to truly be a sacrifice, really giving something up. So you have to choose a child, which also, you know, the child is sort of an innocent. It doesn't really, hasn't done anything to deserve what is being done to it. So you have to choose a child. You have to put it in these deplorable conditions. Your story talks about that, so I won't go into all the the the, the um, description of that. Put the child in these conditions, and part of the story they talk about going to see the child, taking their children to see the child. That's part of the condition of the sacrifice. You have to remind yourself of what you're sacrificing. You can't just lock something away and forget about it. You have to remind yourself, and everyone in the community has to keep reminding themselves, sort of bring into their vision what they are sacrificing, what they are doing to get the benefit that they've received. Now, if you'll do this horrible thing to this child, then we will make sure that everybody else, all the other children, all the other adults, happy, healthy, prosperous, everything's great. Now, they also tell you that this is just guaranteed for our community. Outside of our community, you kind of think of it like, here's our town, outside of it is like this unknown darkness. If we leave, we don't know what's happening out there. If we stay, we have to stay under the restrictions, making the sacrifice under the conditions that the powers have set down for us. If we leave, we assume, because it looks bad out there, that you know bad things are going to happen, but we just don't know. It's the unknown, but it's kind of a dark, foreboding unknown. So now you have a little bit of sort of basis or background introduction to your story. So now read your story. Now you will notice in the little um, note prior to the story it tells you the author who wrote this was very adamantly opposed to the idea of utilitarianism. Remember utilitarianism? Greatest good for the greatest number. And we talked about when we talked about utilitarianism how that means there is a least good or a sacrifice as she says in this story. She's very opposed to the idea of utilitarianism. And she wrote this story as an illustration of what could happen under a utilitarian theory, a utilitarian society. Now obviously she made it seem as bad as she could, but you know I want you to think about that and think about in the real world. Do we do this every day? Do we make these sacrifices every day? We go to war. World War II, we go to war against Hitler. We decide the horrible evil of Hitler is worth the sacrifice of human lives. We draft men they didn't volunteer. They, a lot of them didn't want to go. We send them over knowing that a good portion of them are going to die. But we as a society have decided that the benefit we're going to get ridding the world of this evil is more important or of greater importance than the sacrifice we made the lives of these innocent people. So, do we do this in everyday life? Sure we do. Do we do it as a society? Sure we do. Do we do it as individuals? 
Sure we do. But the story is kind of to make you think, you know, is that a good thing? Is it a bad thing? And like I said, this is specifically targeted toward our, towards our theory of what we talked about of utilitarianism. So read your story. Tell me what you think about it.